Okay, today everyone, we're going to teach you how to do the heist correctly and make the most cut. So what you want to do is you want to select the 5% um, gunman. Hey, you know he keeps his rate low for a reason, but a gun's a gun, right? Welcome aboard, Mr. Abalaji. 5% um driver Green was never the best probably a good thing he's no longer a wheel man still he should be able to source us some getaway vehicles if you all do not have a terabyte you can't do this but do page if you don't have the terabyte do christian felts if you have the terabyte you should be able to do page okay page obviously the connoisseur's choice now you can buy these by the um All right, I'll get that sorted. You can purchase the security passes, which I just did because well, it's only seventy thousand. Now we're doing um aggressive which for aggressive you I don't know if you should need reinforced armor but it's your choice I'm not going to be doing reinforced armor we are going to get I'm going to pay for power Say drills word, and um now dug in shipments do the dug in shipments if you don't do these you are not going to be able to kill the guards with these uh, with these level of guns um, you do want reinforced armor, which I'm also going to pay for because Kaiju Slayer of Time has just informed me you do. Fine, it's done. He is informed. He has come up with the, um, thing. I'm going to tell you. Just, um, like, he's the one who told me to do dug in shipments. Patrol routes are kind of useless. He told me to always get the security passes, power drills, and reinforced armor. Which you're going only war gamer of time now. So just go give him a subscription and me and him we're gonna do the Duggan shipments. I've spent like a hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Well actually it's been like two hundred thousand, three hundred thousand because I paid for all the um, reinforced armor drills and you do not need to buy the stuff. I just did because I don't, because I have enough money. Like, hold on, look at my cash. If, if this thing will move out of the way, I'll show you all my cash in a second. If I can, then get rid of that recording. Look, I have over three million, or I had over three million. Now I only have basically three million. But listen, always do the Duggan shipments, or else you are not going to be able to kill them. Okay, Bryson, you uh, get your own oppressor. I wish it would be a two-seater. Seater. Actually, no, I don't. That'd be useless. Now, for the Duggan shipments, there's usually only ten. I'm pretty sure it can't have more than that. But the have a friend with you when you do this because they're all across the map. I'm going to cut it out in three, two, one. Okay, viewers. Now, this is not a strat to how to do the heist. It's a strat on how to, oh wait, nope. I'm going to have to rephrase that. This is how to do all the preps and setups for the heist. This is not how to do um, how to get, finish the heist. This is how to do all the setups and preps for the heist. It's not how you do the actual heist. All right. If you own this arcade, fly behind it. Reason is because if you fly behind it, you're gonna find this garage door and then um, you're going to enter in this way. Just inform me uh, that the correct setups make it easier. Some setups, that we've never done. Some setups we've never done. Now, as you can see, 
the goal is cash. Keep in mind, you never want cash, but for some reason, it automatically gave me cash. Also, if one of your friends already know the door security passes, don't get the passes. My friend Warrior knows the codes. But if you don't know the codes, get the passes. Okay. And that's all the preps you really need. All you need is the Duggan shipments. You don't need the power drills, but I would suggest it. Reinforced armor and the security passes. You always want the security passes. The getaway vehicle one is the hardest one. We're going to go for the hacking device one. All right. And I'm going to cut to it right now. I'm sorry if I can't cut to the thing, guys. I'm so sorry if I can't figure out how to do that, but hack. Okay. So on Big Con or Sneaky, if it's only you and a friend, uh, you'll both need to hack. But if it's three people, you will not need to hack, depending if your friend wants to hack or not. But I've never hacked. It, my friends have always handled it. We're just going to ignore that cut I said back there. And we're just going to go... Um, okay, we're going to cut here. Okay, we did that pretty fast. And if we can't figure out how to cut it, I'm sorry again. Warrior also said he agrees that if he can't cut it, he's sorry. Because he's also um, taking this time and using it to record. Yeah, for that hacking device. Basically, we're done here, everyone. This video was only supposed to tell you what to do and sometimes how to do it. Now... For this one, you're going to dress up as two people, depending on the cards you get, and you're just going to um, take them back to your base. You preferably want two people, but you can have one person. Same here, you can have one person. For this, there's no danger to only having one person, so feel free to do that by yourself. Also, use a Bryson. Should they use the shotgun loadout or the revolver loadout? Shotgun or revolver. Warrior. Also, don't even bother getting the... Okay, warriors just inform me that you always want the shotgun when it comes to um, this kind of high setup aggressive. For the thermal charges, I don't... For the thermal charges and ball explosives... I'm pretty sure you can do those with one person, but I'm not sure. And the vault key cards. Very easy. So, we're going to end that here. See you.